Greetings, this is uh, Akiva, Kenny Segan, uh, artist and Holocaust uh, genocide, tolerance and conflict, resolutions uh, educator in schools, universities and other places. And I pulled out uh, four drawings I did uh, of ten small drawings I did in Krakow, Poland on my first trip to Poland in 1984, uh, eight of which I still own. Uh, I have four of them here, and I'm going to show, uh, talk about a uh, work I did, uh, uh, I believe it was in 1986, uh, after my second trip to Poland, which was in 85. Uh, I did, I walked around uh, Krakow doing, uh, with a sketch, sketchbook, and did uh, mainly pen and ink, I mean, uh, felt-to-pen, fine point felt-to-pen fine point felt to pen drawings This is one... Uh, I did hear the uh, mats and framing were done later, with uh, which got artified. Uh, a drawing uh, there by a uh, a American uh, woman friend who was in the art program with us, uh, Elizabeth Kazarski. Um, that little sketch she gave me, uh, retro, which is where we did the uh, we had the art course. Uh, this is uh, looks like it's in the uh, old. Uh, section of Krakow in the old city there. A uh, 50,000 uh, Zlatic note there that got artified. Uh, this drawing was of the, uh, I did at the uh, at an entryway to the uh, Vavil Cathedral, this uh, great uh, and well-known cathedral in Krakow. Uh, reading my notes here, which I haven't looked at in a long time, pencils were too stiff and felt pens weren't working. Some grand church near River Vistula, 14th of July, 84, next to enormous castle. Um, this is, looks like it's in felt tip pen and um, charcoal. Uh, this is uh, of a building which had these uh, large kind of theater type uh, heads at the top of the building, like in stone. Here's another, uh, these are from the same building, I believe. This one says exterior of the Krakow Municipal Theater, stone heads. Uh, they're all from, again, 1984. There's a... Uh, Polish postcard. I don't know if those are still sold in Krakow now, but kind of looks like a, from an animated film. Um, and I, this uh, one uh, called Proletariat, uh, I had several layers of different uh, artified mats I did. And these, uh, on the drawings on the mats, were uh, inspired. Here's a hundred. Uh, Sto Zlotic note there. This one actually says proletariat, which is Narodovsky Bank Polsky, which is where I evidently got this. Uh, I did this so long ago. This is a top level like municipal Krakow, Krakow Municipal Theater, 12th August 1984, Stone Heads. Which brings me to the piece I did here after I came back from my second trip to Poland. I was back in Poland the summer of 1985 traveled a bit through uh, uh, Central and Southern Europe between late August and early September and came back to Poland uh, in uh, around September 7th or so uh, 1985 to begin what was supposed to be my um, uh, year as a postgraduate student or fellow at the Art Academy of Krakow. Uh, my postgraduate uh, fellowship vanished under extremely murky and mysterious circumstances. Uh, one Polish academic friend of mine uh, told me that he thought I was a victim of, um, of um, a combination of both uh, anti-Semitism and um, the, uh, uh, the bad level of Polish-American governmental relations at the time. And as well, I had also told at least one Polish uh, acquaintance at the dormitory I was living at during the summer, and some of the uh, Polish students and faculty who lived in the dormitory 
were reportedly members of the uh, uh, were reportedly police informers. Comparably, some of the Americans were reportedly working for the uh, CIA. It wasn't cloak and dagger espionage, but it was just information gathering of what was going on in Poland, especially in the aftermath of the repression of the Solidarność, Solidarity Movement. So uh, I may have been a victim of low-level um, Polish-American, uh, uh, low-level on my part, because I was not someone important or, or renowned, uh, and my postgraduate uh, fellowship vanished. I didn't have enough money to stay, and after three weeks, I ended up leaving Poland, which turned out to be a blessing in disguise in a way, because I um, I got oh, went on to uh, Paris, uh, got back to the States in uh, December of 85, and Chernobyl blew up, I think it was in February 86, around the time I did this work, which is called Place Volnosch. Freedom Square. Now, the perversity of language fascinates me uh, in regard to uh, Polish and Central and European Russian history and so on. Uh, Freedom Square was right by where the uh, dormitory I lived in for two of the three weeks I was in Krakow in the fall of 85, September, late, uh, early, about around September 7th to the end of September when I went into Paris. Um, and I, I was in the dormitory for music conservatory students and uh, art academy students, and there were flowers uh, in front of the building every day, um, placed by Poles who had uh, lost uh, relatives who had be, uh, it had been used as a Gestapo uh, torture center, interrogation center during the occupation years of the the Nazi. Uh, time in World War II, and it was later used, uh, I understand, at least in the 1950s, maybe into the 60s, as a police uh, center by the Polish Communist government where people were again and still being tortured. Um, it says in the upper left here, Poland, Poland over the shining seas, I'm half crazy, which brings me back to uh, uh, a favorite uh, movie scene song uh, from uh, when Hal is being uh, um, un unprogrammed or whatever uh, by the uh, astronaut in the Stanley Kubrick's 2001. Uh, it says uh, theater here in reverse. This is uh, drawn with litho crayons on an aluminum plate. I originally planned it to be a um, a um, lithograph, which didn't happen. And at the point in time where I realized I was not going to make it into a lithograph, I began going over it in color using um, pencils sold by uh, Dan Smith, which are designed for drawing on metal. And I had a uh, red, blue, and white. Um, it's, uh, so these are all backwards, because had it been made, printed as a print, as a litho, that would have read forward. It looks like it says uh, Poland, Poland, Poland over here have to look at this in a mirror to see what this says. This looks like a, uh, a bird here, uh, perhaps similar to the uh, Polish eagles one sees and Polish flags and other types of insignia. There you have it, a, a unique and uh, a singularly unique work. Uh, trees. This here looks like one of these same types of heads as I have depicted from the Municipal Theater Building with, uh, I don't know, kind of like plant forms growing out of the top of it. There's uh, two of the other heads there. Uh, among other drawings I did of the same size as these we, uh, are several of uh, church buildings in Krakow. There you have it. It's a uh, most unusual and uh, fascinating piece in my estimation.